Well, you never know where a book will take you, but the Denver Art Museum hopes you'll stop by for their new exhibition opening this weekend. Denver 7's Ethan Carlson shows us a peek of where the wild things are. And the wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. And I would love to invite all of you to walk through Wild Things. Wild Things, the art of Maurice Sendak, opening to the public on Sunday, but excited members of the media like myself were able to get a sneak preview. I think it's now probably the third, maybe even the fourth generation that grows up with Wild Things. And that always has been an outstanding book for the quality of the illustration, for the uniqueness of the illustrations. But there's more to this exhibition and to Maurice Sendak than his most popular book. Sendak is one of the most versatile artists of the 20th century. Maybe you could compare it to Picasso, who as well invented himself every 10 years. With Sendak, you have the impression he invented himself for every project that he was working on. From early self-portraits to illustrations from his entire book collection to is that a giant bird with a crown? A 14 feet tall goose, which he created for a completely obscure opera by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart that hardly anybody knows, The Goose of Cairo. He always wanted his work to be in an art museum. Lynn Caponera was just 11 years old when Maurice Sendak moved into her neighborhood. He had such a profound impact on her life that she is now the executive director of the Maurice Sendak Foundation, which loaned most of the items on display. He would be so touched to see his whole life displayed on these walls. It goes from the beginning of his career all the way to the last image he did a couple of days before he went in the hospital to die. With artwork that motivated Sendak to his work that inspires us still today, the new exhibition puts Sendak on display and shows us how powerful a book can be. Everybody thinks they can write a children's book, but they really can't. It takes a real writer and it takes a real artist to create something that's going to be lasting and carried on for generations. In Denver. Can't say how proud we are to be a part of this. Ethan Carlson, Denver 7.